Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG from the day of uploading well. So let's see today's problem. Add binary strings. Okay, so what the problem is saying is we'll be given two strings S1 and S2. Okay, consisting of only zeros and one. We want to find the resultant string after adding the two binary strings. Okay, the input strings may contain leading zeros, but the output string should not have any leading zeros. Okay, so so let's see through an example. So we, here we have two strings and it contains the binary data. That is binary number that is zeros and ones. Okay, so let's see. What are the binary addition rules? Okay. So for example, if there are two bits, zero and zero. So what is your sum? Sum is zero. And carry is also carry is also zero. If there is zero and one, if there are two bits, zero and one, sum is one. Zero plus one, sum is one, carry is zero. If if the two bits are like this, sum equal to again one, carry is zero. If the two uh, ones, then sum is zero and carry is one, right? One plus one. Okay, sum is zero. And carry will be one, which will which will be this. Okay, and then for example, if there are three bits, for example, one is carry plus one plus one, right? The two bits are one plus one, and this is a carry. Then that case, sum will be one, sum will be one, and carry will also be one. Okay, so we'll we'll see uh, through this example, you'll understand better. Okay, so these are the binary addition rules. Let's quickly now see how this uh, this binary addition rules will work. Okay. Okay, let's quickly see. So for example, let's say we have this one, 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 zero, one, and the another one is one, one, one. So let's add, let's do the binary addition. So one plus one, again, the sum is zero and carry will be one. Okay, so here one plus zero, one plus zero plus one, right? Again, it is sum will be zero, carry will be one. Okay, so here it is one plus one plus one, now sum will be one, carry will be one. Okay, here one plus one, sum will be zero and carry will be one. So this will be our resultant string or resultant output. Okay, this is what we want to return. Okay, now how can we solve this problem? Now let's see, let's uh, let, let's see how can we solve this problem. So let's say we ha again have this one one zero one. Okay, and here it is one one one, the second string. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, this i pointer, okay, which will start from the uh, last position of S1 and J pointer, which will start from last position of S2. Okay, so we are going to have few variables. So we are going to have carry initially will be zero. Okay, and we'll have sum equal to zero. Okay, sum equal to zero. And we'll have, for example, now we have this bit one, B1 equal to bit one. Bit one is nothing but this i, right? One, B2 equal to this, this particular one again okay so what a formula is going to be sum equal to b1 plus b2 plus carry okay plus carry okay so if you so what is b1 here b1 is 1 plus 1 and carry is 0 right so here sum will be 2 sum will be 2 so we'll also have a resultant we'll also have a resultant string result equal to okay initially yes so it will be a string so here what we're going to do now sum is 2 okay so we are going to we are going to uh, when we add, right, when we add in this, uh, in this result, right, so we are going to add what? So result equal to sum mod 2, we are going to say, sum mod 2, okay. Now sum is what? 2, 2 mod 2 is 0, right, 2 mod 2 is 0. So if you see here, anyways, what is this? 1 plus 1. So as I have already explained, sum becomes 0, but carry becomes 1. So sum is 0. So with this, sum mod 2, 2 mod 2, it becomes 0. So, so we are right, right, we are right here. Okay, now, now carry, now comes the carry part. So what will be the formula for that? Carry equal to sum divided by two. Sum divided by two. Sum is two divided by two, which will give us one. So now carry will be one. Okay, carry will be one. Okay, okay. Now what we are going to do? Now uh, we will, so we have carry one here, right? Carry one here. So we will now decrement our i and j pointers. Okay, now b1 contains what? b1 contains zero, right? b2 contains one. B2 contains 1. Now, according to this formula, what, what it is going to be? So, here, sum equal to bit 1 is 0 plus 1, right? 0 plus 1 plus carry. Carry is 1 here, right? Carry is 1 here. So, again, 1 plus 1, 2 it is going to be, right? So, according to our formula, this particular formula, so sum mod 2 we are going to do. Sum mod 2, which is again 0. 2 mod 2 is 0, right? So, we are going to append 0 here, okay? And carry, again, it is going to be sum mod 2. So, which is again going to be 1. So, because sum is 2, 2 divided by 2, it is going to be 1. So, 1. Okay. Okay. Now, again, we are going to decrement the pointers i and j. We have carry as 1. 
Now, according to this formula, sum equal to B1 contains 1 plus B2 contains 1 plus carry is 1. So, we, we have sum as 3. Now, according to this formula, sum mod 2 will give us 3 mod 2 will give us 1, remainder as a 1, right? So, we're going to append this 1. Okay. According to this formula, sum divided by 2, again, it is carry is going to be 1. So, carry will be 1 here. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Decrement I and decrement J. So now J is exhausted. We don't have anything here. So only we have to consider I. Okay. So for bit 2, we are going to consider 0 basically. Okay. If there is no uh, uh, strings left, if there is no characters left, then we are going to consider 0. So what uh, now what, what will be sum? Sum equal to B1 contains. B1 contains 1 plus B2 contains 0 will consider and carry is 1. Right. Carry is 1. So again, our sum is 2. Okay, so according to this formula, result will sum mod 2 will give us 0. We have to add here. And then we have carry. Carry equal to sum divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 again, carry is 1. Right, carry is 1. Okay, so then again, what we are going to do? We are going to decrement i and decrement j. Again, so b1 and b2, both are will consider, uh, sorry, both will consider 0, but there's still carry left, right? So what it is going to be? Sum equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1. Some will be one, right? Some will be one. So according to according to this formula, one mod two will give us one only. So we are going to add one here. Okay. And carry one divided by two will give us zero. Okay. So carry will be zero. And then we are done here. We, we have our resultant string. So we are going to reverse this. We are going to reverse this, right? So how will the reverse string look like? One, 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 zero, one, zero, zero. So this will be our resultant output. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, so I hope you have got the intuition. Okay, so before going to the code, I'll request you to please, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. I've tried to make it very easy for you. With the code, you'll understand better. Okay, first I'll show the Java code followed by C++. Let's quickly start. Int i equal to s1 dot length minus 1. Int j equal to s2 dot length minus 1. Okay, length minus 1. Okay, then what are you going to do? Int carry will have, which will be initialized with 0. Then we'll have a while loop i less than equal to 0, 0 or or j, uh, sorry, i should be greater than equal to 0 or or j should be greater than equal to equal to 0 or or carry should be equal to equal to 1, right? So at least this condition, these two conditions are matching, right? So it will go inside. I definitely and i and j both are greater than 0. So we'll go inside. Okay. So we'll have two variables in bit 1. Okay. Now we're going to check here. If i is greater than or equal to 0, then this we are using ternary operation. Okay. If i is greater than or equal to 0, then what are you going to do? S1 dot care at care at i, right? Care at i. Okay. And we want to have the uh, integer number, right? So we will subtract the ASCII of 0. So for example, if S1 is S1 is uh, S1 that character contains 1. So minus 0, it will give us what? 1. So what is the ASCII of 1? ASCII of 1 is 49. ASCII of, of, uh, ASCII of 0 is 48. So 49 minus 48 will give us 1. Okay. So so right, So what we are doing here is we are con we are converting the character into integer basically. Okay. Into the decimal number. Okay. So if i is greater than 0, then do this operation. Else, if i is not greater than 0, i is exhausted, right? So we'll have 0 here. Okay. We'll consider 0. Similarly, for bit 2, we'll have the same. What are we going to do? bit 2. Okay, we're going to check for j, right? And here we have s2 dot caret j, right? So we have bit 1 and bit 2, right? And then what we're going to have? We're going to have some variable. So bit 1 plus bit 2 plus carry will say, right? Carry. Carry is 0 now. Okay, now what are we going to do? Let's have a uh, resultant out, uh, variable as well, which will let's say sb. Okay, string builder, string builder why string builder because we are we are going to up, keep on appending right each characters okay each characters we are going to keep on appending okay so sb dot append so if we had used string then it would have created new strings every time we append a new character okay because you know strings are immutable in java okay so yes yeah. so some what are we going to say some mod 2 i have already explained this right some mod 2 this is a formula some mod 2 right this is a formula Right, some more to okay, and then what what else we have carry equal to some divided by two. Okay, this is a formula for carry, right? We have already explained this. Okay, then simple. Yes, this is done here. This is done here, right? 
with with this for example even if i exhaust gets exhausted right becomes less than 0 or j becomes less than 0 this code will still work for example if i is not is not greater than equal to 0 then it will be will consider as zero as i have already explained uh, for j it will be zero i have already explained okay so then here we are done now what we are going to do we want to reverse right as i told as i already explained this so we want to reverse this we want to reverse this okay so let's reverse string result equal to sb dot reverse dot to string so we have this result in but we have to do one more step here so the, the output string should not have the, here it says that the output string should not have any leading zeros okay so that's what we want to remove them okay so let's initialize i to zero and we'll have a while loop i uh, should be less than let's say int n right int n equal to let's take the length result dot length okay we going to check i less than n and result on then char at it should be i if it is if it is having any result and any leading zeros for example if this was a for example right let's see what we are doing here is if this was a result 0010100 right so what the problem thing is see there are le leading zeros in the result right there are leading zeros in the result so we have to remove them so what we are going to do here is uh we will start our i and we are going to check if it is zero then keep on incrementing if it is zero keep on incrementing uh is it zero no it is not zero then stop here break the while loop here okay so what are you going to do here uh, so till so here is the condition is if the if it is zero then keep on incrementing that's what we are doing here okay then what are you going to do we are going to check here if, did we find any uh if i is greater than zero that means we had found some leading zeros okay so what are you going to do result dot substring we are going to take this dot substring of i so what it will do for example i is pointing at this right two i substring uh, right so result dot substring of two will give so i is two right so it will give this string for this substring of two will give it, it will give this string okay and finally we will return result okay so let's compile and run i hope you have got the solution don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video let's quickly see what is the problem your time limit exceeded oh i missed certain step you have to decrement i sorry decrement i and decrement j okay let's run this again i show the c++ code as well not much difference over there let's submit it so i've tried to make it very easy for you please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video let's quickly see the c++ code so here's the c++ code i won't explain this part okay this is almost same right the other part is here we are doing the reverse right we have the inbuilt function and then here we are saying that find the first character position which is not zero okay so we are taking that in the position if if we find any leading zeros then it won't be it will it will be some some uh, index right 2 3 something like that but if it is not like if there are there were no leading zeros then it would point to n pos which is let's say minus 1 we can say or some some number okay then we are doing resultant dot uh, substring okay we are returning from here else if the result is all zeros then return zero simple okay so slight deviation from java code okay so i'll attach a code in the comment section thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video have a happy healthy and a great day thank you so much